I have. Yeah, and yeah. I just did. Yeah. <laughs> Mostly on Facebook and, and that sort of stuff, but, uh, you know, because that's my opinion and I, I don't like the way they're kind of ramming these bike lanes down us when, you know, we're getting more and more vehicular traffic. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. there's more cars on the road than ever. Let's make less roads. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. And I had a big spat with a woman from Toronto who was, you know, used to listen to me when I was out there, who was still a Facebook friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you, it, it's much like the Amsterdam argument. You can't compare Toronto to Calgary. It's apples and oranges, yeah, you know? Yeah. Well, that's the great thing about having such great personalities on radio is that you can give us various opinions. We're not always looking for the same opinion. Zach is going to give me one, Tim, Bob. Everybody's going to give us a different opinion that's part of the draw the listener wants that do you find that today the listener wants your opinion or has it changed from yesterday does is the listener the same person I, they may not sorry I'm just jump in here guys I, I think they they may not be the same person but if you don't express your opinion and if you don't make what you're doing in your radio show interesting unique and different then it's milk toast and what's the difference between doing what you're doing and having the listener listen to a CD, you have to give people a reason to, to want to stay with you. Yeah, it's, it's not just the music, Bob. No, it's not just the music at all. Uh, and knowing these two gentlemen beside me, I know that uh, what happens between the records, the magic uh, that happens between the records is equally important to all of us, and I think that's where the competition comes in between the radio stations as well. Mm -hmm. Let's face it, a lot of the stations are playing the same music or, you know, many similar, si yeah. similar yeah. you know songs and stuff so what happens between but going back to the opinion thing at least with me I think my opinion matters less than the listeners opinion I'm a vehicle to get their opinion out there uh, and I'll, I'll throw mine in but it's secondary mm -hmm. okay so you have somebody who calls you up they mm -hmm. give you an opinion about something the bike trails or whatever bike paths or whatever Zach and you don't believe that opinion are you are you leaning more towards siding with Kate who says this is the way I feel or are you saying well no wait a minute I feel this way well you hang up on them <laughs> no, I'm, 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 just, I'm just kidding. No, Thanks I, for calling. I, no, I think that you take. Um, I think that you take what they say and I, I, you, <laughs> you, you hold them accountable. Yeah. I mean, yeah. um, th there's no doubt about that. Um, we're not there to drive our opinions down everyone's throats either. I think that one of the best things about Calgary is there are so many big personalities and so many big opinions, so that we don't have to really try to be anything but who we are. So I think that when someone says something that is ridiculous, um, and it happened to me on the air one day, um, live radio, and a guy made a racist comment. Mm. Um, actually happened to me twice. It did happened you air to me it? once. It was completely live, like there was no stopping it. Yeah. First time I did it, I just moved on and went away, and I was given some good advice after that and said, by being quiet, you kind of endorsed it. So the second time it happened, um, I literally stopped everything. And, and you have to stop everything and say, look, this is not appropriate, it's not okay, um, you can't do that. Mm -hmm. So I think that when people share their opinion and it's astronomical, you, you don't have to shoot them down. They, they, lots of times they've just done it. So you let them and say what they And then do people call in afterwards to oh, yeah. air their other side? Yeah. So. Or supporting your... Yeah. Or defend what they yeah. believe mm -hmm. or whatever, yeah. And that's, uh, to, to Bob and, and Zach's point, the, 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 sometimes the biggest reactions will come from what we say, but also what w w the listeners say on our show. And mm -hmm. some, it'll generate people saying, I just heard what this guy said, or I just heard what this yeah. gal said. I can't believe blah, blah, blah. And that, that's what generates the conversation. And it keeps the announcer off the hook a little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Well, a little bit. sure, because the last thing, and, and, that's, and then we'll get into that a little bit later too, but you gotta be really careful about what you say sometimes as well too. Um, careful because you're representing a company. Careful because you are representing a certain type of listener as well too. So there, there has to be a screening process in there as well too before you start blurting out something about something. Like I, mean, I bet you even when you wanted to say, oh yes, I love the Habs, mm -hmm. wasn't there a part of you that said, wait a minute, I live in Calgary. Yeah, absolutely, for sure. And, it's, and it goes beyond what you say on the radio as well. It's what you type on Facebook or what you mm -hmm. tweet out. True. You also have to be very careful about that because uh, you're that persona. You know, and again, uh, representing the radio station. In fact, it goes beyond representing the radio station. It's uh, yourself. Well, well, representing yourself as well. Your sure. Brand. Yeah, your brand. And yeah. um, I, you know, I don't know how to put it in words. But well, how important is branding? Let me let, let's just go that direction. Mm -hmm. How important is branding? Because you are representing yourself first and foremost, but you're also representing the station as well too. How do you guys deal with that conflict? 
Well, reliability, I think, is the word for me. I think that when you look at these two guys, um, they're incredibly reliable every day. And if you can be, it's one of the things that I learned early in my career, is if you can be reliable every day, then you're going to, your audience will stay with you uh, because mm -hmm. they know what they're going to get. Mm -hmm. So to speak to branding, that's one of the biggest things about being, bra uh, of good branding is being able to be reliable every day. And I think with experience, comes instinct, radio and broadcasting instinct that yeah, it's the instinct. Th that that th the more you do it, the the more you understand how far down a road you can go, what road you want to stay away from, and it can even be what's the atmosphere, what's the mood of the city on a on a day like today. I mean, yeah. back to the Calgary Flames, if they had a crushing loss or something happened, maybe that wasn't that would not be the right day to. That's kick, a that's a great know, point yeah, that he's yeah, got there. You to know, kick dirt on the reflecting yeah. the city. Well, it's it's. I don't think unlike perhaps an artist feeling out his audience or her audience. You know, it's a excited uh, op audience, or they kind of la la la, and then you know you perform accordingly, and it's pretty much the same yeah. thing. Yeah. I would Has say Twitter on made that easier? Mm -hmm. To read the city? Yeah. yeah. I, I, so. I, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so to an extent. I mean, you have to filter through the opportunity to complain because we all complain you know, mm -hmm. through our social media, or we're all passive aggressive on Facebook or whatever, I'm having a bad day, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> um, so, I, yeah, I think that it's part of the intuition that comes with it. I think you really sure. get a chance to sort of reflect that. Today we talk about, you know, the flames. I mean, it's hard to have, we were talking about our shows today. What are we going to do? Yeah, yeah. You know, what do well, you can take these today? notes with you if you like. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, we'll do well, one of the things that we've noticed with radio, it's changed a lot, not only just what we hear, but also what happens inside the studio. So we used to have record players. But now we have uh, DB. Uh, you had CDs. CDs. You know, I, I mean, it's just evolved over the years. 